Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and I am here to do a flip through of this large magnetic album. We all remember these, we used these back in the day and I still have pictures in some of these type of albums but I recently acquired this one from an estate sale last weekend and I shared the outside but I didn't flip through so I thought you know let's flip through this album together it is cooking related <laughs> I'm excited and you guys I started my own um, I don't have a name for it yet but you know I'll give you guys a sneak peek it's using the same type of album it's much smaller and I well you know I'll I'll talk about it if I have time in this video I'm excited about that album okay look at you guys oh my goodness this is jam-packed and once again I have not looked through this now I got this album and a whole lot of other kitchen and cooking and recipe and ephemera from classy lady and attorney man estate sale I'm giving the lady and the gentleman of the house names so yeah she loved to cook because she had several boxes in her pantry filled with all things pertaining to cooking and I got most of it and I'm so honored okay so here's oh my goodness 1988 my son was born in December 1988 so this is special already a handwritten recipe chicken wraps my very own idea and receipt <laughs> I love it <laughs> okay this is cool I'll keep that one for myself and let's see here she uh this classy lady saved a lot of newspaper clippings today I went through and she saved the the paper section the whole section for the food back from the 80s and oh my goodness I love it because I saw images um, that brought back a lot of memories and so oh it's so fun to look through all that she has especially the older newspaper ads now this one comes from 2001 and I won't I won't open up all of those because it's just so many but look at here you guys oh this is so fun how I wish my mom had something like this hardy winter beef stragonoff you know what's so funny I kid you not okay after I acquired a lot of the newspapers I thought okay I'm gonna look for some older recipes and try them out you never know you might come across a treasure well I kid you not the other day I don't watch the news anymore but I had a program that was saved and part of the news was saved people I kid you not a lady in my hometown started a business 30 years ago from a recipe she found in the paper 30 years ago <laughs> it was a cheesecake recipe and like a forgotten way to make cheesecakes and she stated only five people knows the recipe and they're all family members how can that be right so I thought that was just fascinating here I am thinking oh I can find this forgotten treasure recipe and somebody did okay here's a handwritten recipe for spare ribs okay let's get the flipping because it's a whole lot she love now is this usher <laughs> i don't know if that's him well she didn't clip it out because of him she did it for this salad recipe right here <laughs> but she loved to clip out recipes from different sources magazines from the paper from food packaging look at here orange barbecue leg of lamb see I found a whole box filled with these blue envelopes and she had them all labeled these are torts <laughs> tortoise or torts Tor tarts no torts okay so I am not going to go through all of this stuff because it's so much 
And I saw another one of these, I think. These Taste of Home magazines. But this is, you know what? I'm thinking, too, about doing the very same thing. I like to collect these magnetic albums. And I found a brand new one today. That's the one I'm using now. But I have a couple other new ones as well. I might just add recipes to and them clipped recipes from the paper and from other sources. The ones that say super good, they get my attention. Squash and cheese casserole. This was such a blessing to find this. And to find, I have like a half a box filled of 80s newspapers, you guys. Oh, I thank the Lord because it's bringing back memories galore. Spaghetti with pineapple creamed turkey. Now that's different. She wrote very good right there. Mm -hmm. Another handwritten recipe. This came right from the packaging. Got some handwritten recipes there. So I didn't find the recipe boxes with the hand recipes. Her hand recipes are in the blue envelopes and albums like this. And she wrote on anything she could find. I love it. Rapid stew. Ugh. Nasty. Poor rabbit. German enchiladas. Now that's interesting. I'll take a look at that. Oh, this is so special. You know, I wonder why the family didn't keep this stuff. There are just certain things you keep. Recipes is, in my opinion, one of the more important things that, that you keep. Good. Because I know I love to cook and I, I put my heart in cooking. I come up with a lot of my own recipes. And that's something I want to remain in my family. When I'm gone from this earth and my daughter or son, any one of my kids, they can, you know, cook in my memory and my honor. Very good again. And you know what? I think she actually cooked a lot of these recipes. Sour cream enriches these mashed potatoes. I bet they do. See, this is probably a 80s newspaper ad. And I, I had forgotten some things we used to eat when I was younger. And looking at the images helped bring back a lot of memories and some stores. I actually saw ads from stores that I, one store in particular that my grandmother used to take me to. I'm like, oh my goodness, thank you Lord for the recovered memories. So it's a several handwritten recipes in there or notes in there. This is so fun. Seven layered casserole. <laughs> oh, you guys too. I found a, you know what? I'll get it and show it to you guys if I don't forget. It's a 1940s community cookbook. And it's all typed up. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just love it. Love, love, love this. Avocado pasta salad. Oh, she spent a lot of time in the kitchen. Too busy to cook? Sometimes, don't we feel like that? 
And I love how she saved. These probably have recipes. Yep. How she saved the recipes from the actual packaging. It's a lot of that type of ephemera in her boxes. Do it yourself and save. Save Mart Supermarkets. How to have tasty venison. How do you say that? Venison. Oh, that's deer. No. Not deer and rabbits. And then, super good, whatever that is. I can't make that out. So when you guys try a recipe out, do you go back and write if it was good? Do you add notes and add dates? I do. I do, I do, I do. But I don't keep my recipes in one particular place. I type up recipes like um, in a file. I also email. I have a folder called recipes in my email box. And then I have a notebook I keep in my cabinet. And I'll jot recipes down as a lot of times just in spare of the moment as I'm doing it. I also have a recipe card box that I keep recipes in and then I have a binder recipe I'll bring out and write recipes so I have several different sources for recipes and we just quickly went through this one okay let me go grab these two items I want to show you guys okay check out this community cookbook Carruthers. That's a hop and a skip away from my town, my city. Carruthers would be a small town and it cost a dollar. And this was published in the late, I think the late 40s. Yep. The officer's names are here and 1949 to 50. A little poem right here. And so this was typed out. I'm not sure if this is an original copy or if it's a copy of the original, but it says right here, appreciation to the high school commercial department who assisted by typing the recipes. <laughs> and it's a lot of recipes in here, you guys. Oh, so I was trying to figure out, I'm like, was this typed? Did they have, they didn't have, well, I was not born in the 40s and I was trying to remember okay did they type it did they use a computer or whatever and it said right there typed so this is fun this is fun okay and then this is what I started just a couple hours ago I picked up this album brand new it still had the, the plastic on it and let me give you guys a sneak peek. I don't know what I'm going to call this. I haven't seen any videos on anyone doing anything similar to this. I don't know of crafters who still use these because when scrapbooking became popular, we were all told, get rid of these, take your pictures out of these because they it's not archival and it does cause your pictures to fade. I still have a lot of pictures in mind. I started that process and never finished it. But we all know what's old again is new. Uh, or what, what is old is now new again. And in junk journaling and altered art, we don't really care about things being archival. I decided to use this because it just, it takes me back to my childhood. And Look, you guys, I, I'm using this magnetic photo album to add vintage clippings from the newspaper of things that takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so, like, here, do you guys, well, we can still buy Dr. Pepper and root beer, but have you heard of Hawaiian Punch? We used to drink this stuff. And I don't know if you can buy it now. 
And you can still buy Swiss St. Ives lotion, but that was a lotion that my family used when I was growing up. And then this right here, oh my, the close-up toothpaste. And here, the AIM toothpaste, no picture, and the Pepso Dent. Well, you could buy the toothpaste too. Right here it says toothbrush. We used all of this growing up. I don't remember Signal. We probably used that too, but I don't recall that name. And I think you could still buy one of these brands at maybe the dollar store or 99 cent store. And then here, Jimco. Oh my goodness, before we had Target or Tar J, we had Jimco. It was a big store. And my memory is sketchy. Like, I don't remember how the inside of the store looked. But you know what? I just had a flashback. My cousin, she worked at Jimco. But what I do remember is, <laughs> okay, my I have an older cousin, like four years older than me. I remember that her mom, well, you know, we women, we need certain things, right? Because we're women. And I remember those certain things was always in a yellow box. And it dawned on me that a lot of things from the store had like yellow packaging. And I figured... As I got older, I figured, oh, maybe that was their generic style. Because every store has, like, their generic product. But I remember the things that we need as women, it was, like, in yellow packaging. Now, I don't know why that stays with me when I think of Chimco. <laughs> but my aunt used to take my mom to this store. Because my mom, she didn't drive. And uh, that's all I remember about Chimco. And then this right here. Oh, my my brother, he used to throw the paper. Yeah, and so when I saw this, it I remembered him. Yep, he, he must have been in 7th or 8th grade. He would throw the paper. Oh my goodness, if the Lord willing, hopefully I don't forget, when I talk to my brother, I want to ask him about that. Okay, and then, oh my goodness, the Kool-Aid. Oh! It's been years since I've had Kool-Aid, but Kool-Aid, we go way back. Oh, my goodness. And have you ever had end-of-the-month Kool-Aid? Now, some of you probably never heard of end-of-the-month Kool-Aid. That's something that I made up. <laughs> well, end-of-the-month Kool-Aid is Kool-Aid that you make at the end of the month when there's no more sugar. <laughs> But um, this is so fun. I am on the hunt for a original Kool-Aid picture. Yes, I am. And look, you guys, two coupons. Look at that, 1984. So I'm going to stop right here. I do have several more pages, but I'll be back to share this. You know what? I might do a craft with me type video as I look through the vintage newspapers and clip out clippings and add them to this photo album. This brings me joy. This is so special to my heart because it's amazing how images can help recover memories, right? And I'm so thankful anything that can help me remember. Like my sister, she has a vivid memory. I'll just record her as we're talking and let her just yap 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 she remembers everything down to colors down to shapes just everything i don't remember much at all but i thank you lord for blessing me to find these newspaper sections and it's bringing back so many memories and i'm so excited about that all right, if you guys like this video, why not like it? Give me a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe because I'll be back with more. All right, if you guys still use these albums, if you do something that's similar, if you want to do something that's similar, share your thoughts and experiences in a comment below. All right, want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.